Welcome back to another reaction video, yo. It's your boy Cam. Back at it again with another reaction video, yo. If you're not a part of the Cam fam, make sure to hit that man, click that subscribe button. If you like the video, that much, I like when it's going to today. Today we're reacting to to catch a predator, and this is we're continuing with the series, you guys. You guys seem to love it, so I got you. You ask and you shall receive. I love it, you guys. I actually really enjoy it, you guys. It's a little bit creepy because these dudes are freaking weirdos and they're creepy, but anyways, look, I love y'all. But let me know what you want me to react to next inside the comment section below. But yeah, let's hop into the video. I think this one's called the no pickle. Car in the driveway. Chevy, Chevy something. We have no idea, but we think this guy is way early. In every investigation, invariably, there is a guy who gives us Creepy a different vehicle. Creepy as hell. And that causes some confusion. We have to figure out, you know, who is this guy? We're not sure. We're trying to, our, our, one of our servers is down right now. We're doing the best we can. We're trying to figure it out. When Calvin Lee Greer shows up, we're confused because he mentioned a different vehicle that he'd be driving from the one he actually showed up in. So this triggered this scramble behind the scenes as to, okay, if it's a different car, it must be a different person. And so I'm going through all the transcripts and I'm saying, okay, who's got this other vehicle? And I can't find anybody. This is him. It's Lee Greer. It's Lee Greer. It's Lee Greer 74, our one o'clock, we believe. He's on the back door, hips porch, opening the door. Can you tell him he's bringing, he's supposed to be bringing lunch and booze. He's supposed to be bringing lunch and booze. Hey, come on in. Did you bring the food? Yeah. Okay, great. What did you bring? The double cheeseburgers with no pickles. Awesome. I made chocolate chip cookies too, but I actually just got some on my shirt, so I'm just gonna change my shirt real okay. quick. All right, I got some fries, but the fries might be cold. They take me a little while to find this place. That's all right, fries are always good. And they didn't give me my sodas I ordered, so. You can just take a seat, I'll be right there. Okay. You're over here acting like everything's normal. So no uh, cookies for you? Get him, get, get him, Chris. What's going Let's on? Go. Not much. Who are you? He's are shocked, you? bro. He's shocked. Um, Lee. Some of these guys want to know right away who, who I am. My <laughs> typical response is, I'll get to that in a minute, but, you know, first I want to ask you some questions. Because if I say right away who I am, I, I oftentimes won't get the most honest response. Lee, what are you doing Thanks. here? I uh, come to visit a friend off the net, I thought. A friend off the net? Yes. Yeah, and who's that right. friend? Uh, name is Sammy, I believe. The name is what? Sammy. Samantha. Samantha. Right. How old uh, is Samantha? I thought she was 18 or older. 18 or older. Right. What made you think that she was 18 or older? Just by the way she talked and acted. and. A lot of these guys will do anything they can to try and wangle their way out of the predicament they're in. Of course. Including saying, Repetos. Hey, look, I thought the girl was 18. And they don't he know that I think that girl was not being 18. 100% he did not. ASL, age, sex, location. Truth is always the best here. So why don't you start over again and tell me how old did she say she was in the conversation? 13. 13, okay. Yes, sir. Thank how you. How old are you? 31. And you thought it was okay for a 31-year-old man to come to a home no, where sir. a 13-year-old girl was alone because why is that thing? I didn't. Then why did you do it? Stupidity. Why are you here? Stupidity. Honestly. Stupidity. I was, yeah, man, there was stupidity. Pure stupidity. I think that uh, there's a good chance that Greer is in that one group of these guys who probably wouldn't be involved in this sort of activity had it not been for the addictive nature of the internet. The access to chat rooms and porn and I think guys develop this uh, compulsive behavior over a period of time and, and uh, suddenly nothing will satisfy them but this face-to-face -face meeting. Let's you sent her, her that picture. Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. What does that say about your intent? Stupidity, honestly. Stupidity. Right, and I told her they were dirty pictures and she wanted to see them so I showed them. It's so, because a 13 year old girl says it's okay, it's okay for you to do no, it. No, it's not, sir. No, sir. Exactly. Are you married? So don't even try yes, to make sir. Do you have children? No, sir. How's this going to go over at home? Not good. 
I had really, really, really like for it not to go home. Really, I'm, sir. Did you bring condoms today? There's some in the car. Just happen to be some in the glove box. No, I always have condoms anywhere I go because I of diseases. Even, what? I always have them in my car with me. Is that your personal car? Or no, sir, that's, my, that's the rental car. He was in uh, the communications Who, business, bro, and he was on assignment a in Florida. Who keeps condoms in a, in a rental you know, car? It sort of gave me the sense that you know, he was just bored, cruising the internet, and decided to chat up this young girl. You had planned on staying the night. No, I was going to get a room tonight. That's what I told her on the net, that you know I'd consider staying the night or whatever, but I wouldn't. But there's talk about spending the night here. Yes, I know that. Did you pack a bag? No, sir. I got one little deal. It's got my underwear. It's got my sh another a new shirt, and I always wear my shorts twice you because they're not dirty. And I got my PJs. Sounds like you're all set. Got food. Got condoms. Got sleepwear. Ready to spend the night. I know what it sounds like. Well, there's a few things that you need to know. One is that I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. We're doing a story on adults meeting teens on the internet. Everything that you've done since you pulled up here has been recorded on camera. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like <laughs> you to tell see, us he further, was like, Man. we'd he love like, to hear Man. it. If not, you're obviously free to Good walk job, out that Chris door you came in. He knew that he had gotten, you know, nabbed. He basically admitted it was wrong. And when he found out that he you're had free to you know, been caught in a deadline investigation, the he was more worried about the exposure. Lee, you're free to go. Can you take your... Is my face going to be shown on TV? We haven't made any final decisions as to who's going to be in the story and who's not. Well, and I just we don't just, want my wife to find out. Anymore. I understand, but we, I, I'm just being honest with you. We haven't decided uh, yeah. who's in and who's not. <laughs> well, thank you all. And sorry again. Okay. Time after time, guys have tried to say, come on, could we talk off camera? You know, turn the cameras off, I want to talk. My response is, look, we're doing an investigative story. We haven't decided exactly who's going to be in yet. Get on the ground! Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Oh, please, God! Please, sir! Get on the ground! Let me see your hand. And that's oh, fair, because they don't put Lord. everybody in there. Fine. Oh, damn, he ought to do it. Oh, Lord. I think these are among the most compelling, spontaneous interviews I've ever done because <laughs> some of these said, guys oh, Lord. have been engaging in this <laughs> I'm online sorry, uh, I gotta for say a this long time, just <laughs> have known they've needed help, have not known where to go to get it, and as bad a spot as they're in, they know that they're going to have a shot at getting some help. was served man justice was served hey you guys like i said I, I let me tell you this i think people like this right need to get help there's clearly something wrong with them and that's and that's just a point blank period truth and i know a lot of people believe that they're not able to be corrected i don't know if everybody's the same i agree with you partly there's just some sick individuals that just cannot be changed uh i think some people do have the ability very small portion very small don't get me wrong they do have the ability to change uh but some of these sickos just need to be locked a lot of them just need to be locked away forever but anyways you guys let me know if you really enjoyed the series in the comment section below uh you know like i said i really loved this show i used to watch it a lot when i was a kid and like i said i think when i was a kid i really didn't grasp like, I was like, man, this really messed up. But, like, now that I'm, like, a grown adult, I, like, I'm like, man, I just, I don't know. It kind of makes me angry. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me angry. I don't know if y'all feel the same way. It just makes me angry. And, yeah, there's some funny elements, too. Don't get me wrong. And, you know, I try to not take it too seriously. But it does make me angry because I'm just like, man, if that was, if that was my cousin or something like that, man, I would, you know, I'm not going to say it on YouTube. But you guys get what I'm saying. But yeah, y'all, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. <laughs> uh, we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. Let me know if you guys are really enjoying this series in the comment section below. But yeah, y'all, I'ma catch you in next video. Peace.